got you stuck. Got, got you stuck off, off, off the rail. The, the realness. Even with his hectic schedule from Super Bowl 58, Shannon Sharp found time to respond to Mike Epps slandering him in his recent stand-up. That nigga Shannon Sharp called me trying to do an interview. I said, no, Medea, I ain't doing no interview. So you can sit across from me and look at my balls. I'll sit down, nigga. I thought he was going, that cat, that nigga did. The nigga shit is called Shay Shay. The nigga's telling you. Put a wig on that nigga and tell me if that ain't motherfucking Medea's sister, nigga. Sharp found time to respond to Mike Epps, who made him the focus of his recent stand-up routine. Put this out there. Uh -huh. And this one, I, I'm going to fire this shot over your head, mofo, and you will know exactly who I'm talking about. Yeah. Mention my, na mention my name again. Yeah. And I'm going to put the DMs. I'm going to put, I'm, and I don't like doing this. Yeah. But you're lying. See, and yeah. I don't care about all that other stuff. You can say I'm gay and you can say I'm, I don't care about that. Because yeah. I won't chase a lot. But yeah. I won't let you lie on my name. Also, he made a promise to check Epps' temperature when he sees him. Now, when I, I see you, yeah. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see if you about that. Okay. I'm going to see if you want to say what you've been saying on yeah. trying to get some jokes because yeah. you got mad because Cat Williams did what he did. Now, yeah. now when I see you, yeah. I'm going to see if you really about that. Yeah. yeah. Because, really like not. I said, yeah. all that, all, for, first of all, them saying I'm gay and this and that. It ain't affecting my bottom line. I'm, I'm gay. I've been happy for, for years. It don't. It ain't affecting my bottom line. Now, if it'll start to affect my bottom line, right. then I'm gonna see. I'm gonna make y'all put. I'm gonna put you. Make you put your cards on the table. Yeah, boy. I promise you. I'm gonna pull up. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pull up, and yeah. I'm gonna see if you bought that. Cause yeah. I'm. I'm about it with you. Me too. At this point, the Cat Williams interview is the best and worst thing to happen to Club Shay Shay. It has everyone reacting, but now things are becoming personal. Now Mike Epps has responded to Shannon Sharp wanting to fight him and admits to messaging him to get on his show. Shay Shay, I don't know what grown ass man got a name named Shay Shay, but I know this grown man is not mad at me. So many people talk crazy about you. They was on Saturday Night Live talking about you, imitating you, but now you want to fight me? Now. I'm not going to lie, I did DM you to get on the show, but I DM'd you to get on the show because you brought my name up when you were sitting there with Cat. and he was trying to get him to talk crazy about me, but he didn't, okay? Now, second of all, talking about pulling up on me, you're going to be an all-star, I'm going to be at the all-star in my hometown, and I'm going to see you. All right, I'm going to see you, brother. And I'm just letting you know, I don't be doing no fighting lately. I don't do no fighting. So, you know, there's only other one other option. If you don't fight, you do blank, 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 blank. And Ocho, you shut up and go get some eyebrows. You looking like a whole milk dud sitting there agitating. We watched the white boy kick your ass on TV. And Shay Shay, you did look like Medea sitting there. You was looking zesty. I'm not saying you gay, but you was looking zesty. You look, look like Big Frida sitting there. You need to take them tight ass shirts off with the muscles. And that's it. <laughs> Hopefully, Mike and Shannon can talk things out soon before things get out of hand.